that the, that the news media is, I can't even tell you how fucking retarded they are when you watch. You know, if I see, when you're putting on, and I say this by the way, you know, I watch the 24 hour news channels constantly because I have to. I would recommend you don't. <laughs> I would recommend you get your things from other sources, the internet, bathroom graffiti, wherever you get it from, because it's fucking retarded. And the ticker, the added ticker, doesn't match the screen. So somehow you're supposed to, the cognitive dissonance between what you're viewing and what you're reading is sometimes aneurysm inducing. <laughs> Literally, when Uday and Kusei Hussein were killed in Iraq, the images were gruesome. And they're showing them and they're doing the thing and you know, you're learning about how their bodies are, you know, they're all stitched up and the whole thing. And literally, underneath, on the ticker, as it went by, it said, in showbiz news, Beyonce no longer likes the word bootylicious. <laughs> now, how are you supposed to handle that? Oh, Uday and Kusei is saying, that is so, really? <laughs> Or they get you with the scare tactic. That's the, that's the other news technique. The scare promo that leads nowhere. What you don't know about your washing machine could kill your children. <laughs> Tune in at nine. What you don't know. Tune in tonight at nine. What you don't know about your washing machine could kill your children. Do you have children? Are they alive? Well, your washing machine could kill them. Tune in at nine to find out what you don't know about washing machines that could kill your children. So you tune in. Welcome! Don't put your children in the washing machine. <laughs> mm. They got nothing. You won't believe what we found growing in your house. And then they bring in the guy with the blue light and the thing and he swabs. In your bathroom, if you see when we turn on the blue light, there's fecal matter. Yeah, it's where I shit. <laughs> And as far as Crossfire is concerned, the, 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 the what I didn't realize <laughs> Imagine you hate something. <laughs> And you like to sit at home in your underwear, drinking, <laughs> and yelling at the TV uh, about this thing you hate. And then suddenly, you're beamed onto the set. <laughs> and they're sitting right in front of you. So you think to yourself, oh, I should tell these dudes I hate them. <laughs> but the problem is, uh, they're there. And it gets really awkward really fast. <laughs> Imagine a commercial break where for two and a half minutes you just sit there like this. That I said it. Bow tie. <laughs> necessarily proud of the way that I dealt with it, although I stand by pretty much everything that I said. The important thing is, when you call someone a dick on national television, <laughs> you get a lot of answering machine messages the next time. Dude, what were you thinking? But as I was leaving, Tucker uh, said to me, it's on air, you're, you're not being that funny. And I remember thinking, yeah, but tomorrow I'll go back to being funny. And you'll still be a dick. <laughs> Cornell.
Green red. Boom! Back to blue. Oh yeah. Bring it! 